Hi, good morning, everyone. Rob Lukey with Health Sidekick. I'm going to show you in a few minutes why the majority of people find themselves wondering why they're not losing weight, find themselves in plateaus, and why it's not their fault, why the majority of apps, diets, and sites that are out there are old school uh, and using outdated, archaic, static equations that are getting people, stopping people from losing weight. And I'm going to show you with this member right here. If you take a look at where this member started up here at 129 pounds, by the way, just to let you know, this is their weight chart. And this is the HSK prime number. HSK is different. It's an algorithm, not a static equation. I'm going to explain to you all the other sites use static equations and all the other diets use static equations. The apps, I don't care what you're, who you're talking about, they use either the Harris Benedict or the Mifflin. But I'm going to explain to you the difference between a static equation and an algorithm. Static equation is this. Let's say they take, we're going to say height times weight, which is, basic, which is basically what they use, but they use the, a few more. They use your age and other things. But height times weight equals calories. Okay? That's a static equation. Okay, if my height and weight changes, my calories change, right? So for example, let's say I am uh, 70 inches tall and I weigh 150 pounds times 150. So 70 times 150 is 10,500 calories. That's how many calories I get to eat and lose weight or stay the same. That's my, uh, sorry about that S. That's my, that's my BMR, what they say on all these other sites, right? Let's say, for example, this uh, 150 pounds change. So I'm 70 inches tall still because obviously if you're past the age, that's going to be an unchanging uh, uh, variable. But let's say that my weight goes up to 155. So now I'm, at a, now I'm 70 inches tall times 155. Now guess what I get? Times 155 pounds equals... 10,850 calories to eat. That's that's what the other sites do in a nutshell. HSK's algorithm is different because what it does is it says based on one thing, your weight, because that's what uh, our clients are interested in looking at at this point, our members are interested in. So they say based on your weight, this is how many calories you can eat based on how the activities and food that you're logging into Health Sidekick is impacting your weight. This is how much you can eat. So this, this particular member, as you can see, started up at 129 pounds. And as you can see, had, had success here. And now finds them in, like the majority of people, finds them in, in a little bit of a plateau, which is typical. And plateaus are, are typical when you're losing weight. Here's the problem and why the majority of other sites and apps that you use will cause you to gain that weight back and give up. Because what happens here is that as this member has lost weight and now this member has hit this plateau here, the calories that other sites give you, guess what? Stays, they stay the same. They say you continue to eat the same amount of food that you've been eating since you've been in this plateau. And actually, when it goes up, when your weight goes up, guess what? They give you more calories to eat, which causes you to what? Causes you to gain weight when you're in this plateau and all of a sudden, you, your weight spikes up like this, and all of a sudden you give up. You say, I did everything right, and yet this site, uh, and, and all of a sudden I'm gaining weight, it's not working. If you look at HSK's algorithm, it continues to adjust for this member, and it says because you're in this plateau, and what you're doing, the activities and food you're do, uh, doing are not translated into what you're concerned with, and that's, your, that's weight loss, you want to get down here, HSK's prime number continues to adjust down your, co your calories, your allowable food that you're allowing to eat to help you break out of this plateau so it'll continue to help you reach your goals and continue to help you progress in weight loss, which is what you're trying to do. I hope that helps.